Today we're exploring the theme of comfort and loss. We mentioned yesterday that we'd be hearing about the anointing oil of God's goodness, uh, and that is discussed today as well as tomorrow at the banqueting table of the Lord. In the message, we read in Psalm 23, verse 4, Even when the way goes through Death Valley, I'm not afraid when you walk at my side. Your trusty shepherd's crook makes me feel secure. Most of us are familiar with the words, Even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, or even though I walk through the darkest valley. Sometimes life's path leads us to places that we never expected we would be. In these moments, it can be helpful to know that God is there. Jesus knows what it is to experience suffering and loss, and he's there for us when we experience bitter suffering ourselves. The phrase, be not afraid, or some variation of those words, appears 365 times in the Bible. That's a daily reminder to fear not, do not worry, be not afraid, for the Lord your God is with you wherever you go, as we remember God saying to Joshua. What if we started each day by resolving not to fear what tomorrow might bring, not to fear our past, not to fear our circumstances, but to trust in the Lord who walks by our side. In the hymn, All People That On Earth Do Dwell, we find a portrait of praise that we can proclaim daily. I grew up singing the doxology at some point in worship service, and this hymn is set to that tune, the old 100th. All people that on earth do dwell, sing to the Lord with cheerful voice, serve him with joy and praise forth tell. Come ye before him and rejoice. Sometimes the oil of anointing that we need is just the oil of praise, of lifting up God's name. Those verses continue, Know that the Lord is God indeed. Without our aid, he did us make. We are his folk, he doth us feed. And for his sheep, he doth us take. O oh, enter then his gates with praise. Approach with joy his courts unto. Praise, laud, and bless his name always. For it is seemly so to do. And the final verse, For why? The Lord our God is good. His mercy is forever sure. His truth at all times firmly stood and shall from age to age endure. We have that confidence that we can weather any storm that comes because of the God whose love endures. So enter the gates of the Lord. Bring your grief, your pain, your loss, your sorrow. Cast your burden upon the Lord and the Lord will sustain you. As it says in Psalms 55 verse 22. The Lord invites us to bring our hardships with honest and open hearts, to bring our fears and exchange them for celebration and courage. Where else can we find such an exchange? Where else can we find such a friend? Thanks be to God who gives us comfort, hope, and courage.